Karens are known for their public freakouts and boy do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone from store clerks to restaurant staff and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. On February 18, 2022, a patrolling officer in Florida responded to a hit-and-run collision and immediately approached the scene. Yes, uh, what's her name, yeah. Okay, yeah, so she, they've been like doing <laughs> all day. Mm -hmm. um, they called too, I think, mm -hmm. or they were gonna call. Um, what but, happened? Uh, she peeled off out of the driveway, mm -hmm. backed into the mailbox. They just fixed it. I, oh. She has squatters, whatever, in there. Okay. And, um, like a couple times, she like came, peeled she, back, like, peeled back into our know. driveway after we've asked her to not ever be on our property. We've right. asked her that Almost hitting cars so many times. She'll yeah. come walking into our fence, messing with our no time. trespassing. She sign. has no regard for anything. So she's just this whole area, she thinks it's hers. Okay, you know? so what, what happened? She hit that mailbox? She yeah, hit that mailbox. mailbox. She was parked here, almost hit her car. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, and she's she just laughing at us. And, and we're in the driveway. She's, she's like she's... still peeling back and forth. Is it a Kia Soul? Yeah, a brown one? Kia Soul. I don't even know it works, um, still works. But she's still out right now, who God knows where. Okay. Probably. But that mailbox is hers, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. they just put it back and up. She hit that it was like, pole pretty far. She knocked oh, it, was it completely like, like that whole pole was, yeah. like, not the telephone pole, but the little mailbox pole was down. They just put it back up. Yeah. And we're trying to get her plane number because I don't think she has any of that on the car or like. Apparently yeah. she doesn't have her license either. Now, so. uh, I'm trying to remember what her name is, but it's the Michelle. one that goes up on the yes. roof. Yes. Michelle. So she was driving. Yes. Mm -hmm. She was driving, and she has. We're very license. familiar with her face, so uh -huh. yeah, I'm positive that was her. Yeah. All right, so were you guys out here when it happened? Or? Yeah. We heard. Well, we were in the backyard here, and then we heard it, and then we came back out. And, and she, she backed into it twice. And then yeah, backed into it twice. She backed into it twice. And then, yeah. What'd she get this time? Her, her mailbox. mailbox. <laughs> Pull in they just mailbox. put it back up, but it was all down. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And hit that electrical pole and see her mailbox. Peel marks right there. Was she by herself, herself in the vehicle? No. no. There were like three other people. In the They've been doing there. drugs all day. Yeah. She yeah. seemed to be the one in yeah. control of the drugs. Yeah, handing them out. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Did she say anything when she was leaving, like screaming anything out of her? Yeah. It happened quick. She screamed up, hit that, knocked that off, and then boom over here, and then took off. And I know, I mean, unless a miracle happened, she um, has no license, registration, or insurance currently. Mm -hmm. but She's not driving uh, under the influence. Yeah, they were definitely getting high. Mm -hmm. I don't know on what, but... Whatever you need foil for, and when yeah. you hear snorting, I mean, our fence, yeah. as far as where our fence is, like this far away, I, sitting like where she yeah. hangs out to have her coffee and well, I cigarettes. I just watched that guy right. get on his bike, he almost fell off. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. weird because you watch them and they're normal and then all of a sudden like they'll it start It just happens, like, all of a sudden they can it's barely... It's the most bizarre yeah. thing ever. Mm -hmm. it's, it gives me the chills. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, I won't different. keep her time. I'm glad you yeah. guys are mm -hmm. safe. Once that's gone, this will be the most quiet yeah. night I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, the mortar, that, that's yeah, yeah, freaking that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there she is, right there. There she is, waving. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, you all you guys saw who the driver was? Yeah. Yes. What's her name? Michelle. Okay, yeah, excellent. She just changed it to a key. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I chased her all the way to MLK 301 and it got canceled by my bosses. So, like, yeah, she fled as soon as I got behind her at um, Myrtle and 
Yeah, Myrtle and Old Brainton, she took and off. It's just dangerous driving. If and right. heavy traffic, kids are coming out of school. Yeah, so yeah, my yeah, supervisor's yeah, like, I cancel, it's just a hit and run, you know, type of deal. So okay. yeah. Do you still have the markings, like all the drawings on the side? She just painted it purple. Okay. Yeah, the, between the window and the bumper, that mm -hmm. part on the hatchback is like a purple, like a little bit better than the door. Right. And yeah. then there's also a dent. Yeah, yeah. but something bumper. noticeable, something so that sticks out, because I didn't see... Yeah, yeah, like purple, big section, I it's mean, like, I'm talking like... Like in front or back? Like this big, oh, right yeah. on the back, on the hatchback. Yeah. So this is the that's mailbox that she hit. That posed in the mailbox. So she, she just hit this, and this fell off? Yeah, I guess so. Is, yeah, down. she kind of hit it, so definitely hit this pole and then this. Okay, but like, this... Did somebody come and yeah, yeah, he, he came, he came and like the guy that put the post on back the in? Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, this guys, yeah, watch out. Was that a dog or screeching tire? Screech. Screech. Yeah. Probably her. Stand by. Here we go. Yep. Excuse I'm me? sorry. Yep. Fighting, trying to decide: should I stop? Should I not? stop or should I not? Yeah. Um, but I see them show up from time to time for 10 minutes at a time here and there, like they're picking something up. And the last few nights, people are pulling in and coming out all days. Someone's running something out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This house, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. So, ladies, you too as well. Okay, sir? Okay. i make the attempt to try and contact somebody here. Hi, you live here? Uh, I do, temporarily. Okay. I'm uh, supposed to be moving out or whatever. But, okay. Um, you hear about Michelle running into the pole? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, and I need her to not come back around here. All right, she doesn't live here anymore? No, she got all of her stuff. Her mom came and got it. Her son came and got her cats. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, and right now it's basically the people who are here. We're all trying to get out because it just got sold. Okay. And we're in the process of it, and every time she comes around, it just backslides everybody. Okay. Because we have to make sure she's not lighting the roof on fire. Right. She's not being crazy. So she has nothing here that yeah, says that she lives here. here. Okay. So, if by chance she comes back today, tonight, whenever, call 911 quietly. Said, hey, Michelle Lear's here. She has a warrant. All right. All that stuff. Okay. I appreciate it. All right, Shauna. Thank you very much. Yeah, Open the door. Get out of the car. Now. 1019, Get out of the car. Get out of the car! She's still unresponsive inside the vehicle. Get out of the car! Now! Because I'm telling you, get out of the car! Now! Come out. Out of the car now! Come on, get out. 41, she's 41. trying to back her car out and trying to pass me. Larry's right next to her. She's fleeing. She's going eastbound on 41st Street. Uh, my vehicle was also signal for it. 91's pull, turning around at 44th and Old Brighton. Going back to the scene. Okay, for a while, take the block. She's going to have rear passenger side fender damage to her vehicle now. Please go ahead and calm your, your wife down. Okay. okay, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, okay? Right. You heard what I told them. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Get out of the car! 64 by dispatch, 41097 on my call at 41st Street. Going to be 1012. She's in the car now. Please get out. Just give us a 10 right now. Get out of the car! Get out of the car, Michelle! Hey, get back in your house, please, ma'am. Okay, I know you called. I know. We'll be with you in a second. We're worried about your safety right now. You got an ask? Where's the where's the latch to open it? There's no latch over here. She's she's tying her thing right now. Okay. 
I'm trying to help convince her to come out of the car without using force right now. De-escalation tactics. Okay. Your top's on, I just need you to finish tying that knot, and then I need you to open the door. No problem. She doesn't. I've got plan B. Okay. She's on the front. Alright, perfect. Now, unlock the door. Less lethal? Michelle. I need you to open the door. Unlock it. Unlock, Unlock the, door the door now. now. It's not. It's tied. I need you to open the door. I'll tell you when you're outside the vehicle. Never. Open the door or we will break the window. Okay. Open the door or we will break the window. Your choice. Tampa, we've got it. I don't want to be aggressive. I'm just asking you to step it's out and you're not running. stepping out. We just have an uncooperative subject. No, don't light the cigarette. Just step out of the vehicle. Signal 14 confirmed it is Michelle. There we go. Hey, she's got a bunch of pole cutters yep. right there. Too. There's Dr. Moore. Hey. Temple, we were advised by Officer Blanca. There's PC for arrest. Open the door. Open the door. Do it now. Open the door, Michelle. Last chance. Hurry up. He's going to break the window. I'd rather you just step out. Let the recruit do it. Step out, yeah. Step out of the car. Step, Step out, out of the car. car. 64 five dispatch, just an update. We got the door open. Taking him in custody. What's that? Get out of the car now! Ow! Stop fighting. Stop resisting. me. No, stop resisting. Ow! You f are the crooks. Not me. Ow, that f hurts. Oh, well. Ow! You just Ow! I'm not stop moving. Stop jerking around. Ow, that f hurts. Hold on, let me move it. Hold the f up! No, I'm trying to fix it. Ow! We'll fix it when you're on that. You can let them know we're 10 15 away from the Ow! It hurts. Ow, it really hurts. Can you get out? We'll fix it. Please. Do you want me to go get the warrant? Oh, it hurts. If you don't mind, yeah. I don't have a warrant. So we'll do a second. What do I have a warrant for? Fix it that way. I don't have a warrant. Ow. Stop moving them and they won't be uncomfortable. I just listened to it. Oh, Karen was in a real pickle, collecting charges like they were going out of style. She led the cops on a merry chase, felony fleeing, if you will, played an intense game of you can't catch me without throwing a punch, that's resisting an officer without violence for the uninitiated, and even dabbled in a few hit and run shenanigans. Quite the adventurous day for Karen. On August 27, 2023, in the wild expanses of New Mexico, a keen-eyed officer spotted a car zooming past on I-10 like it was trying to time travel, clocking speeds over 90 miles per hour in a zone where you're only supposed to go 75 miles per hour. As he pulled this speed demon over, he noticed something odd. The windows were draped with dark sheets making it look like a mobile vampire den. Not wanting to take any chances before getting up close and personal with what could very well be Dracula's road trip, he instructed the mysterious occupants to show their hands. This is what happened next. Sepia Hyundai Sonata, unknown passengers. Driver's side is covered with a blanket. Can't see the subject. Let me see your hands, bro. Why, why are your windows covered like that? Step out of the vehicle, man. Come outside. 
Come out here with me. That's a nice Joey, man. Driver, let me see your hands. Four three seven. Just to advise, I'm giving verbal commands on my PA. Driver's not, not listening. Driver, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, driver. I can Driver, let me see your hands. Driver is not cooperating. Driver, open the door. Let me see your hands. Open the door with your left hand, left hand only. Four through seven, still giving verbal commands, not getting answers. As I repeat, both windows are covered with some sort of blankets or sheets. It will be a felony stop at this time. Driver, let me see your hands. Hablas inglés o español? Donde están las manos? Driver, can you not listen to me? Let me see your hands. Take out your hands. Open the door. Let me see your hands. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You need to come out. I can't hear you. I can. I can hear you. Okay. Go ahead and open your. You open the door with your left hand and your left hand only. Open the door right now, ma'am. I can't hear you. Open the door right now. I can't see through your window. Both windows are covered. It's for your safety and my safety. Open the door with your left hand and your left hand only. You need to apply to this commands. I don't need to arrest you for not listening for impeding an investigation. With your left hand, open your door. All right, you're gonna be arrested, man. I'm telling you. Four through seven, so calm. It appears to be a female uh, stuck out her left hand. She's uh, she's flipping me off at this time, and she's just yelling. I can't hear. I can't hear what she's trying to communicate with me. Four through seven, she's still refusing to get out of the vehicle. Let me see your hands, ma'am. You need to come out to me, to the sound of my voice. Open up that door and you need to come to the sound of my voice, ma'am. Force will be used. Thank you, go ahead and step out. Step out of the vehicle right now, you're gonna be under arrest. Step out of the vehicle right now. 437, so calm. Door was open at this time. Still can't see the driver. Listen to my commands, ma'am. Step out right now. Step out right now. I can't see inside your vehicle. Go ahead and step out. Step out. You got I lethal? I can see him. I got less lethal, bro. Tenfold. Yeah, she's not following commands. She finally opened the door, dude. She's not. She's not listening. And I can't see. I can't see through these windows right here. Through no, none of the windows. Let me see your hands. But I'm gonna make contact on this side. Let me see your hands right now. Let me see your hands. Step out. Okay, step out. Step okay, ahead and step out. Step out. Who else is in the vehicle? Bring down the windows. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Stop. Who else is in here? My daughter. And You're not scary. listening, ma'am. I'm telling you. I told you to open up. Come here. And I, I need to talk to you. To. Open up this window. No, come here. And I she, don't have just she has a daughter. Hold on, bro. Just come out. Come here, man. Just stop resisting. Stop resisting. Hold on, baby. I'll be right with you. No, no, no. Ma'am, I'm giving you commands, okay? Stand by right now. I'm gonna talk to your daughter. You do. You're you're going 94. You're going 94 on a 60 on a 65. Are you intoxicated right now? Hey. You need to relax. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you cooperating? What's wrong with you? She's intoxicated. Is it, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Let go of my handcuffs. What, ma'am. What do you think this I is, ma'am? What's wrong with you? You have a small daughter in the vehicle. What's wrong with you? You guys are Okay, what's wrong with you? You guys, 10 times up. All right. Four, three, one, so 
She appears to be intoxicated, bro. I can smell it. Don't resist, ma'am. Don't resist. Stop. Quit resisting. Just stop resisting, ma'am. This isn't worth it, all right? You're getting more charges at it, right? Put jam behind your back. Just clip this one here. I'm not resisting. You guys are all right, I'm gonna stand over here. I can't believe you think this is funny, man. Funny. You have your daughter there, man. I, know, I can't believe you think this is funny. This isn't funny. Unlock, bro. Who's that? You run out of your place under arrest, okay, for resisting. How, how much have you had to drink today? Huh? All right. I'm gonna come in here. No, you guys are selling, guys. Okay. Stop. I don't have to go in there. Are you drunk? Do You're under arrest right no, now. No, I'm not drunk and I don't have to go in there. Get in there I right do now. Not. Here, I got I got pepper spray, bro. I got pepper spray. Get in there. Get in there right now. Pepper spray is you can pepper spray Get in right now, man. Get in right now. I'm gonna use a taser. Get in right now. Get in there 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 right now. Get in Get inside right now. Inside the vehicle. Get inside now. Again. Inside. Listen to my commands. My daughter is right. Okay. Stop. Okay, get inside the vehicle. Put your feet in. Put your feet inside the vehicle. That is enough. That is enough. Put her feet in there, bro. That is enough. Hey, relax. Relax right now. Relax, okay? You're not following commands. You're drinking right now. Okay? You shouldn't be drinking and driving. You could see both of them and you know that you're good. All right. You could see both of them, couldn't you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, because you're not going to answer because you know that you could. I couldn't see anything. I'm on this side. I'm giving you commands. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Well, explain here in a bit. Just stay in there because there's traffic out here, okay? I'm gonna ask you something, okay? Would you want to provide a, uh, a breath no, test, breath exam? No? I don't no? have to. What's happening? Or, you you want to go to my patrol car? Where are you yes, come on. How uh, primitive? Come here, sweetie. Do you have any some sort of Let's go this way. <laughs> Where are you coming from right now, man? All right. Are we going to back to my house? We'll all let you know here in a bit, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna put you in here because I have I have AC in there, okay? That way it's not too hot. Go ahead and have a sweet suit. Hope your daughter dies. You hope my daughter dies? Yep, I do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're so just pay attention. I'm about to read I'm some stuff, okay? Gonna I'm just gonna read you your rights. Hurry up. All right, so did I have to say you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against in court. You have the right to consult oh, with an attorney, to have an attorney present during the questioning. My permission. If you guys can go check on the daughter, bro, please. Yeah. Okay, does he have it already? Okay, cool. All right, so if you cannot afford an attorney, one can be provided to you before questioning at no cost. Do you understand these rights? With these rights in mind, would you speak to me? You know, would you wish to speak to me now? Alrighty. Uh, give me one second, sweetie, okay? Give me one second. Yes. 
She is in trouble. Step up. Why'd you put him in the front? Because he's right there. Where'd you pee? Oh, all there and then all the way to the over there. Put that on there. Walk on this side. Turn right there. Don't move. Go this way. Go this way. That's what I'm doing. Walk. Calm down. Walk. You're gonna have to clean it, huh? <laughs> you said I was gonna have to, but it's gonna be you. You should feel really proud of yourself. Karen was ultimately charged with driving while intoxicated with a minor, abuse of a child, concealing her identity, speeding by more than 16 to 20 miles per hour, aggravated DWI due to her refusal to provide a breath sample, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. On the sunny day of July 11, 2023, in Stewart, Florida, an officer dashed off to investigate a tale of a drunk motorist causing a stir. The driver, let's call her Karen for giggles, was zigzagging all over the place like she was avoiding imaginary squirrels when the cops pulled her over for a bit of chit-chat. Whoa, boy. It was like opening a brewery door. That alcohol stench hit him like a slapstick punchline. Let's watch how things worked out for Karen. Driver's license and registration. You don't have one? Registration? Nothing? Get an ambulance? Driver's license and registration? Do you have any form of identification? Nothing? You speak? Go ahead and speak to me, okay? Do you have any type of identification on you? Do you have a purse? Do you have a registration? Anything over there that you have? No? Nothing. Right. What is your first name? What's your first name? What? Dana. Is the car registered to you? Is this your car? Yes. Where are you under the influence of? Alcohol or drugs? Stop. You could have killed somebody a moment ago. Okay? It was horrible. You hadn't turned the car off for me. Well, I kind of don't trust you at this point, okay? How one of my guys coming? Okay. Do, uh... You have nothing on that. It's got your name on it. No. Okay, well the tag doesn't come back to the car, so what's the car come back to? Cool. You're kind of not helping me out any, so I can't can't do much for you. I don't know how to turn it off. Yeah, where is he at? Who knows? I'm not even going that around. Can't even get a name. We pulled over Joan Jefferson, then she jumped the curb and drove over. Well, I heard I heard the sirens. I Kick out Prevented it from, was that you up there? No, I was in town. Prevented it from crashing whoever's on top of the bridge. <laughs> Brian's not going to help. I still want to know who you are. Keep an eye on it real quick. Let me figure something out. What's your, what's your birthday? Okay. Oh, yeah. Did oh. She, she would have killed somebody. I could see the front of her, but she stopped. She almost bounced off the walls, but I couldn't stop her on the bridge because you know, Oh, yeah. Stopped there, Joan Jefferson. She, she pulled over and then she jumped the curb and drove all the way up to the side. That's it. But I couldn't stop her on the bridge. About what? I couldn't stop her on the bridge. She would have killed somebody up there. Can't talk to her. Oh? She doesn't comprehend him. Can't talk to her. Oh, uh, we, we only have her first name. I, we got it off a credit card. I just walked up and saw her. She was absolutely Greg's here. Huh? My savior's here. <laughs> I just told her, I said, is that your landscape out there? She ruined she, it. She doesn't so, hit this. She doesn't hit this. Huh? She doesn't hit this. The landscape out right there? Oh, yeah. It's demolished. Well, is like, that top of it? Yeah. But I, I told the trap man's going to be the property. Yeah, it's a court. He said, it's going to be the property. So, she's like, yeah, the land, the landlord put all this in. She only hit one little bush, bro. Yeah, it's right. Never. What's up? I have literally... Never, never been. This drunk? Off. Oh, okay. Well, make sure you don't kill anybody. That's why we're stopped here today, okay? Well, right. All right, cool. I have never been. 
arrested for DUI? No. Where's she at? Is that what you're trying to, that you're going to try well, to do? She, I stopped her about there and she went to pull over. Uh -huh. And then she turned back in the traffic. Oh, is that, is that what you got the, was that what the siren hit again? She turned okay. back in the traffic and she rode up over a curb and oh, she off coming back in. Oh, so you about to tell? Yeah, of course, those are not going to be clean. It's got to end them. Yeah, she didn't pull up on here. She was getting pretty. That's, uh, that's next level, buddy. That's, that's crazy. Pedophile. You're a pedophile? Is that what you said? What? 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 Y'all let pedophile. Nina, you stay in Martin County or PSL? Cool. So we're here to make sure that you are not under the influence and that you are okay to drive. Okay? No. <laughs> no. You're you're on the influence. I am? Not today, but... I have a... I have a... I have a piece of shit. I didn't say that. Again, I'm just here to make sure you're not under the influence and you can drive. That's it. No. Yeah. Alright, we're just making sure you're okay to drive. Look, That's it. Look. I got something to check you out, okay? Good luck. I'll be here in a second. Good luck. Let me get... Let me tell you... Let me tell the truth. Okay. Why? I want this shit. Why? I am... Nah. Don't worry about that. Why do you think that? I never... Okay, I get it. I get it. It's hot out here. Give me one second, okay? I don't know what she's saying. Sorry, man. They had us all on a citrus. That's, up. That's what we get for being five people short, man. <laughs> Go talk to her. You'll figure it out. What's your stop report? 9,000 things of PC. 9,000 things of PC? Okay. Just all over the place? Go talk no. to her. It'll be evident. Trust me. Alcohol or drugs? Okay. Can't even tell you, it's so hot out, I mean, I had to reach in the car, turn off the car, but I'm assuming alcohol okay. if it's on the Hello. How are you doing today? I'm Deputy Dave with the Sheriff's Office. The deputy stopped you back there, or the sergeant stopped you back there because you were swerving all over the road, he said. I guess a bunch of people were calling you in saying you were hitting the curb and... What's going on? You feeling okay? No. What's wrong? Do you have any medical issues? Are you going to be able to tell me? Can you talk? What's going on with you today? Been drinking this morning, huh? I... I'm just trying to talk to you and you're not talking to me. No. No. I can't hear you. No. No what? No. Do you, do you have any medical issues? What you I'm not blaming you for anything. Can you zip your shirt up for me and then step out of the car? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't. Appreciate it. What's your first name? Well, I'm not going to call you that. Yeah, just that. I just walk up into the parking lot for me. Can you can walk over there kind of where that handicap sign is? No, no, I don't want Okay. Well, I'm not calling you that. Oh, well. All right. Where are you going? Can you sit still? All right, talk to me for a minute. Do you have any medical issues at all? Yeah. Diabetic, epileptic, you have seizures? I have a ton. You have a ton? What kind of medical you issues do you have? I, I'm, not, I'm not doing this. You're not going to sit here. My I'm not doing this. You're not doing what? I'm not You're not going to have here. a conversation with me? No, I'm not going to sit here like you. Okay, just based on my initial observations and you're not being willing to talk to me. No, based on your observations. Right. I'm a, I'm a whore and you don't care. Well, that's not what I said. That's exactly I, And that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to find out if you're too intoxicated to drive a motor vehicle. No, I, I never f asked to f do that. To do what? To f understand. To f alter my f I, I, I can't, I can't. I don't know. All right, can you tell me what kind of medical issues you have? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to take your shoes off? Nope. No? Nope. I'm going to ask you to do some standardized field sobriety tests. Nope. Are you going to do that for me? Nope. No? Okay. Nope. What's going on in your hair there? No hair, man. You have no hair. Here, let me, let me have your wrists here. Go ahead and pull them together for me. Put your palms together. Hang just like that for me for a minute, okay? I'm placing you under arrest for DUI. You're not complying with anything that I'm asking you to do. Can you tell me if you have any medical conditions that I need to get checked out before we take a ride? Are you diabetic or anything? You don't want to talk to me? That's okay. Is there anything inside the vehicle that you need to bring with us? We look for a while. There's nothing else in there. Okay, any medication, anything like that in there? Can you have uh, Becky 51 just to pat her down? Where's Becky at? We gotta get a female closer, dude. She was right. She, she was right down the street. She wasn't okay. far.
if you should follow right. what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my car because it's hot I'm gonna put you in the AC and then uh, we'll get you checked out and on the way here shortly okay cool. grab her other arm I don't want her to take a spill what do you say thank you uh, yes yeah half cage yep. all right you don't have to tuck all the way in there. I'm just going to sit you down. That way I can give you some AC because it's super hot out here. All right, turn and face me. Turn and face me. Step this way toward the door and then just sit straight back. Okay? Let me get you some AC, okay? Put your legs in there. Definitely don't want you to be without AC. There we go. Rear climb. It's on now? Perfect. <laughs> Get to the jail, I'm gonna ask you for a breath test, okay? I'm gonna ask you to provide breath test. Oh, why are you f***ing hell me, f***ing not? I don't give a shit. I don't give a f***. My f***ing son is a f***ing Marine, and I didn't handle I didn't handle it well. I, I didn't handle I didn't handle it well. But you f***ing 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 You don't give a shit. You don't even f stop to help me. Help me. I never broke the law. I never hurt anybody. No. Oh. Nina, what are you doing? Just leave it. We'll get it out in a little bit. Uh, good for you. Go ahead and read that. Nobody said that about you. Bullshit, dude. Fuck yourself. I'm not going to stay here, but. Okay. Dina, on the side of the road back there, you wouldn't, uh, you refuse to do any field sobriety tests. Are you willing to do those now? That is absolutely untrue as to what happened. Okay. Tell me your version of what happened then. You guys tried to vault to, for, to, for you guys wanted, you guys wanted to make me, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah, you're right, oh, oh, you, you, I can't, fuck. So when I came into contact with you, I was called there to do a DUI investigation because the person that pulled you over thought you might be intoxicated. No, okay. that's not what happened at all, actually. So do you want to tell me what you think happened? No, you were contacted uh -huh. to... Dean, are you willing... I'm, I'm asking you now, are you willing to complete some field sobriety tasks? No. I got I got a camera here, so yeah. you're covered. Yeah. You, you refuse to... This has nothing to do with... Why I was pulled over? Why was I pulled over, sir? You were asking me why you were pulled over? Yeah, sir. Okay. Um, the sergeant was behind your vehicle, and you were swerving all over the place, and you almost hit some officers that were on another crash scene. And then you pulled over, and then swerved back into traffic. And then when you pulled over, you pulled up onto some rocks and hit a rock. Uh, -huh. uh -huh. so so you you have you have that documentation, yes? Yes. You have. That's documented, yes. You have that. And then the sergeant made contact with you at your driver's window, made observations, smelled alcohol, and that kind of thing, yeah, yeah. and then called me to come do an investigation. And when I got there, you didn't want to talk to me, and you were yeah. cursing at me. Oh, and and, and mm. why, why, why did I not want to talk to you, sir? I don't know. What did you say to me? I asked you general questions. I asked well, you what Why did was. I not want to say to you, sir? All right. So no, no, I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm, what I'm going to ask now is I'm no, going to ask I, no, you if you'd I'm, like to... I'm which, going to ask you, yeah, which, I, which is a, a question I'm sure. legally allowed to ask you. Okay. What did you ask me? It's on video. I can go back and review it. I asked what, you to step out of the car. What did you I ask me? I asked you to step out of the car, Dina. That's why I asked you. Sir! Yes. Again. I asked you to step out of the car. What did you ask me what are you alluding to i'm telling you i'm answering your question and i've answered it about four times in a row now no, you've asked me about four times mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. are you do you want to conduct field sobriety exercises in here or no it's a yes or no are you willing to conduct are you willing to perform standardized field sobriety tasks yes or no is that a no okay so i'll note that that is a no i'm now offering you an approved test of your breath for the purpose of determining the alcohol content. Are you willing to take the test? Okay, so. Are you willing to take the breath test? Are you willing to uh, to acknowledge the sobriety test, test from my... I 
I'm gonna read you implied consent, okay? I'm done. I'm done. Have a seat, Dana. I'm not playing with you. Sit down. If you refuse to take this test, I've requested your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal. It, it was, guess what? It was already done. Okay. So essentially, if, you, if, this, if this is a subsequent refusal, it's yeah. going to be suspended for 18 months. Yeah. It's 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 subsequent so, so Driving privilege has ever previously been suspended, which it has, or you were previously fined. And why? Why? Let me finish, okay? No. Any criminal proceeding. Do you understand what I just read? Why? You're going to get an additional misdemeanor charge if you don't... Answer what I just said. I, that's the legislative law. That's the Texas Good law. Good for that's you. Why. It has nothing to do with me. Good. I'm a fact reporter. I'm trying to read you your rights. Good. Okay. So are you willing to take the breath test? Good. It's a why, yes or why no. Why don't you I'm, just answer what I just asked you? You're asking me why you have to do this? No. I'm asking you why you are being held liable for this shit. Because you were the one driving the car intoxicated. Motherfucker. That I was fucking... You don't get it? You don't get what you guys do you understand how vile and bullshit this is this entire ten minutes? Do you no. get it? No. Really? No. You get it? So do you want to provide a breast sample? With your rights of mind, I read you implied consent. You want to provide a breast sample? My mother? Mm-hmm. My mother? Yep. My mother? Mm-hmm. You, you hear me? You're I'm, listen? I'm listening to what you're saying. Your you mother. Listen? Uh-huh. She okay. I don't care. I good. Guess what? Yeah, I don't care. She was in front of the court for okay. fucking. Guess what? That's good for her. Good, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. She worked for the cop. That's not what I'm here for, though. Yeah, you know, you're not. No. Yes, no, of course. No. Not. Story time is over now. Yeah, story time. So, so what I need to know is if you're willing to take the breath test. No. Nope. Have a seat. No. Nope. Okay. So I read you implied consent. You still don't want to take the test. You understand? I don't what say anything. You say okay. blah blah blah. It's all. It's all. Okay. Time of refusal is 11:29. Blah blah blah. I'm not a city human being. Has no. All right, Dana. Go ahead and stand up. Come with me. That shirt's there. She has no. Yep. He has no. Go ahead and come out here with me. No jurisdiction. He is. A, he is. Put your shoes on and let's go. Do you want me to go get a pile of people to come in here to do it against your will, or do you want to do it on your own? Okay, I'll grab them, no problem. That's going to be uncomfortable for you. Yo! She don't want to move if somebody wants to help me grab her. She don't want to move. No, he's a liar. Oh, now we're moving. No, he's a liar. Yeah. No, he's a liar. He's a liar. Uh, Ma'am? Yo, 74. Ma'am, here, we got to go to cell, hold this cell 174, please. If we, will you stand up for me, please? Can you walk that way, please? Thank you. Right this way, ma'am. No, no, no. We need, I'm, I'm going to ask you to walk that way, please. Thank you. Keep walking, ma'am. Thank you, gentlemen. Following her arrest, Karen faced charges including a second defense of driving under the influence, refusal to take a test, failure to register her vehicle, and driving with a suspended license. When this incident occurred, she was already on a $200,000 bond for theft and fraud. Subsequently, her bond for these new charges was established at $150,000 in cash or surety. On May 26, 2023, a wild Karen was spotted in its natural habitat, causing chaos at a hotel. This specimen engaged in the age-old ritual of staff disrespect, leading to her being politely yet firmly shown the exit. But alas, like a cat clinging to its favorite perch, this Karen would not budge. Thus, it was time to call in the cavalry, our brave boys and girls in blue. Here's how things played out. Ma'am, they 
asked you to leave. All right, so you need to go. You're being trespassed. I'm now leaving you to show the video of what they've done to me. Trespassing. I'm not trespassing. I paid for this room tonight. Show the video. I own the district attorney in New York, and I'm from New York. You show what they've done to me. You practically went. Go back and show the video. I'm going to the district attorney. Don't touch me. And you don't touch me. Stop. Dude, you're so on time because I have a broken spot. We're off again. Wait till you see who I call. Her first, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to get her first really quick. Go ahead, Pat. What? I'm going to get her first off really quick. Okay. Pleasure is gone. You're gonna get fired. Okay. Just turn it on. You're going to jail. Hey, right here. Give a f. I go to jail? You live in jail. You fat f face. Chubby face. Chubby cheese. No, get away. I don't He's fat f. Chubby cheese face. Cool. You're going to jail. I don't jail. Do I look like I care? You will. Where are you taking her, please? We're taking her to county jail. Sarasota County Jail. Where? Sarasota County Jail. Alright. La, 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 he's a bad f***ing uh, We have to make sure we get her the problem. Hi, kids! Yeah. Don't get in trouble with these f***ing Don't talk to her. Wait till you find out I'm out in an hour. I know every f***ing man gets the car made me out in an hour. I'm gonna show my two video and then send it to you. It's all about it, yeah. Woo! Don't touch me. So. You know what? I have a broken shoulder, so do it again. Try it again! Break my shoulder open again. When you're done, fat face. What about you? What are you? Oh my god, look at this one. Shut the f up. Really of course you don't, because you're a cop. I don't give a f You just want your points. Your points. Your points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the end of the month. Let's bring your poor people over. Idiot, you were calling for They're ripping well, I, 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 I told him to start this way because he was dispatched. Uh, They're oh. ripping bras in there, you dumb f***. Uh, what is this? Up? Is this is this the Yeah, she's going to leave, so. No, why? Jail. I'm going to take off my cap and show my video. Oh, I don't want to see okay. that today, please. Wait, do you have anything on you that you shouldn't have? Hold cool. on. Anything that could hurt me, potentially. Get off me, fat f***. Do you have anything on you that could hurt me? Well, hurt me again, No. Not you, because you Okay. Thanks. Well, I'm going to start. Yeah, that's Good evening. Uh, I understand that her, you know, putting her hands on an officer, that's all right. Yep. You know, that's, what, are the, what, what is her likelihood of getting out tonight? So, uh, that depends on what her bond's going to be. Um, the jail's going to determine that, so if she can bond out, that's that's going to be on her. Well, but I ask that because she's here with her mother. Right. right now her mother is also a little bit too, you know, I don't know how drunk she is, but okay. she's at least not right to drive. Okay. Um, the room was in the mother's name. Okay. At the very, so my main goal was removing her. Of course. Well, the mother, by point, she could stay. Sure. You know, as of before. Sure. Um, but I don't want to make. I want to make sure that if I don't have to kick out the mother mm. because she'll be in overnight, mm. then I don't. You know, well, I don't have to displace her. Gotcha. But, yeah. So she's she's obviously trespassed. Yeah. So she's not allowed back here. Um, and she knows that, so if she ends up getting out and comes back, then she'll be going to jail back again for that. So, um, I'm just going to get your information, sir. Absolutely. Your name? Yes. So she was uh, just... Well, previously she had, she was at the bar, uh, and they had an argument with some of the female guests, threw her drink on them, and was thrown back upstairs. Okay. At that point, we're just going to get her leave. Mm -hmm. uh, so the mother, of course, by the time the mother got back up to the room, we couldn't find her. I sent my uh, engineer looking for it in the stairwells. Found her on 8th floor. She needed an ambulance, so mm -hmm. the paramedics had just been out here and then just left after.
they checked by, by, on her? By the time they got here, she had come down the elevator with Brian here. Okay. Declined many medical assistance, so they just left. Uh, but then, due to her increased reckless behavior, um, that's what we need to call you guys. Sure. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you again, sir. Yeah. Did, uh, did they want anything else? Just, just trespasser. Okay. Yeah. I, I saw there was like a, tw uh, a possible 40 on the screen, but no, 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 no mention of that. He didn't say anything about that. Okay. Uh, we'll just go check out the warning. Be done with it. Done. All right. Thank you. Uh, no, that's been there. I don't know what that is. She's lovely. Starting off today, right? Thank you. Carter, just let me know if you have insert right at the same time. Sean! Carter. Sean! What's your name? Uh, Ryder. It's Officer Harkay. Hey, Officer Harkay? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to know who the informants are down here? I don't... I, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, I'll just go to your boss. Like, hey, Sarge. Um, hey, Sergeant! Um, we have a, a female in custody. She was from the A-loft. The manager wanted her trespass. She refused to leave. We got there. We told her she was trespassed, asked her to leave. She refused to leave. Um, and we used diminutive force to, to place her into custody, so we're taking her to the jail right now. Okay. Um, what do you guys do? I guess just pull her out of the wreck. Yeah, she kind of reached towards um, Collins. My lapel mic. His yeah. mic. She grabbed his mic. So we she grabbed, she grabbed her grabbed her arms, put them behind her back, and she was very mild, you know, very light resistance. But after that, she was okay. So that, that's uh, just make sure when you're writing the not necessarily do same, but you want to have in there about the case report at least put in there the mic de minimis action that was taken. Okay. Sounds good. We'll do. Yes, sir. And recording at the jail. The Karen Busters rolled into the hotel like a SWAT team on a mission to tackle their notorious Karen infestation. And boom, just like that, Karen got snagged in the act of trespassing. Hey, stop walking away. On February 6, 2022, the local law enforcement squad got a buzz about a burglary unfolding. The mysterious informant on the line remained incognito, but spilled the beans about a lady who decided to turn an abandoned house into her treasure hunt, scavenging through it. The moment our hero in blue landed on the scene, Karen flipped the weirdness switch to maximum. Let's watch the chaos that ensued. No. Wichita police, if you're in there, make yourself known. Thirty-seven. She's here in the garage. She's in the garage, laying down. You seen her? No, we heard you. Yeah, she's right here. Come out. Is there anyone else with you? Yeah, 
Okay, that's the second time I was just asked that question. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go to... Do I need to call emergency or calm care? Because I'd rather not talk to the police right now. And I've just called... Hey, well, at this point, time. you're committing a crime, so you're going to talk to the police. Okay, I want to know what... My crime is I'm being charged and do right now. You guys need to allow me to be read my rights. I will not and I will hard I will start fighting. My mom does not even know where the Stop I'm at. I will tell you right now. Not touch me. Stop. 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 Yes, we Stop. are. I would leave Stop. you guys alone and move and call contact. Don't Ow. quit. Don't Ma'am, quit. I need to be mentally healthy. 36. We I would like an evaluation if I can. I did call Social Security this morning. You guys need to know right now I am not talking to you. I will not talk. Sorry about it. You are not my type. I do not go for you, madam. You're rude. Stop. I'm my price. I'm calling the district court. I have five new charges. They're abusing me. I called my mother and she wouldn't answer to her. Madam, I'm sorry. Stop. I'm trying to put a bike together. I need help. Help. Don, I'm telling Don. them I can't breathe. Hey, you're kicking around and you're kicking me. You want to get next charge? I need to call them middle house. I've been calling them. They're not open. I called my mom. They came up for 40 minutes. I've been taped for weeks. Five months in a row I've been arrested. I need somebody to please call my mom. She's you need to stop breaking into houses. What you She's need not do. answering. I need stop. my family to come help me. They're not answering. Stop. No, please. Yeah. My dad is not answering. I need a lawyer. Don. I'm asking somebody Don. if they would politely call hey. a family member. Don. Please out. Madam, I want to see about being able to call a family member. My protection. Stand up. Stand up. In my own protection. I want to be read my rights. They're Heavenly Father. They are hurting me. I don't want to do drugs anymore. Please, God, I have a chance to get an evaluation. My mom is out. Sir, what is your name? Don. Sir, what is your name? He's hurting me. I need to be read my rights and to get out. What am I being charged with? I went in there and said, Sir, I did tell him. What is your name? He's hurting me. I need to be read my rights and to get out. What am I being charged with? I went in there and said, Sir, I did tell him. I told them to break out of my heart. Sir, my mom does not even know I'm being abused. Hey, five months I've been homeless. This is normal. All I did was change. You get a good here. Search this. I changed. You got it. I won't talk anymore. I don't want to change. Stop. All right. Forgive me. I'm allowed a phone call this time. It best not happen again. I want to call my mom. I have to. Do you bastard? You do not. Belong touching me if you are not gonna know the law. So you're putting me in a. Get back! You just spit in my face. You're putting me in a medical. I didn't mean to spit. He was trying to hurt me, and I had something in my throat. I am having a panic attack. Tomorrow? Is this all she had? Yeah. Okay. She just kicked me in the leg and spit in my face. Yeah, yeah she kicked me in the leg. So um, I'm not spit on my face. I can't show. Was it spit from her talking? No, she said. No, she. Yeah, she spit. Okay. I'm sorry. Do what? Oh yeah, no, I'm good. She just spit on my face. Yeah. Do you guys call? Huh? Do you guys call? Okay. Yeah. You met her already? Oh yeah. I've had okay. a lot of dealings with good old Don. Oh okay. She's She's not even I see. Tamar, just wait. Michelle, please, Corbett! You're in there, sound off! Go ahead, I'll keep down. And if you want to come out here, we'll have a trespass and battery Ready? Oh, Is it? Right, is it? Doesn't go any higher. Yeah, they have a door open in there. Yeah, I know. Oh, the only way to get in is either through. Did you guys, um... We couldn't clear it all because we were no. Okay. Yeah.
basement is to the basement. We've already cleared that. Okay. <clears throat> Wichita Police Department! You and your sound I'm off! Right. Yeah. I'm Miranda Wright. How long have you been watching me so that I can tell and take you? Because I'm, uh, I'm getting counseling and I try to call okay. and have not contacted anybody in five days. This is the fourth time I've been attacked by some sort of city. Uh, I'm just saying. Okay. City um, um, support and it may I may not have to deal with me. That's fine. I do need to seek and have I'm been attempting. Mm -hmm. everything. I can't. Okay. It does matter that it is an emergency to what call you, with my phone. Okay. These guys are okay. robbing me day to day for my clothes and my shoes. My shoes are in there. If I don't have them when I get out, I will be going to 24 hour immediate domestic violence and control center. Okay. Because it does need to be said. Well, here's the thing. I am sorry for what I did. I didn't know, but she did completely tell Franco it was okay, okay, only if I had my clothes with me. You and cannot be at this house. There. The officer did already stop. The sergeant did stop uh, the short one. You cannot and be at I this house, him. okay? He just said it was okay, madam. No. You two right there across. It's not okay because we have a we have a trespass affidavit saying that nobody's allowed to be at this house, which means that includes you. You cannot be at this house. Do you understand that? Well, we don't have a judge right now, well, so you get to deal with me. Well, 602 South Volusia, still oh, yes, attorney made a case about case desk. Same He's needed yes, an officer to okay. collect some evidence. Walk, let me walk. Okay, well, you, you cannot. Walk, I would like to be re-analyzed and, and have a assessment and a 24-hour mental health check. I would like shoes and to be treated like a normal human being without being thrown We're and trying to treat you like a normal human being. I'm checking the first shelter away from every okay. supported, you know. And it's okay. I gave my money and all my stuff away. And they're going to notice. I mean, I would go to a shelter if I were you because you can't be here, okay? No, I, I go downtown. I just came from downtown this morning. And I did eat. Maybe can I get released? Can I go now? No. You know, I go right. to the 24-hour crisis center. No. No. So how come he didn't bring me my rights? And what are my charges? I don't know. We can wait until I get there and figure it out. I think 135 is coming back. You guys are going to have to stop arresting me under 24. I need to take medicine. Okay, well, your charges are criminal trespass and battery of a law enforcement officer, okay? okay. And obstruction. Did you hear obstruction? Under the camera, the Watch your feet, okay? You are going to need to get a, a domestic protection. No, no, answer your question. Please, can I make a phone call this time? I never get a call. Down there, yeah. I don't Watch have the feet. Be you two right now, if you don't answer me about my goddamn protection in my clothes, I don't have a gun in these cameras. Leave your hands alone. You guys are so what? 
full of nails. Oh, no, Done. You need a goddamn goddamn Stop reason to write. Kicking the window. You need a list of a way and a list of all your random laws of the stupid police. No idea what we're doing. Hey, you want me to pay for it? Really? Don't. Give me the Hey, you're gonna get another charge and be in there even longer. I already did. You're going to jail for obstruct, for battery LEO, and for trespass. Here it is. Dang it. After the dust settled, Karen was, of course, charged with trespass, resisting arrest, and simple battery on a police officer. Get out! Okay. Hands behind your back! I got scared. I'm ADHD. I'm naturally hyper. Can you please be fair? Please. I totally acted out of instinct, but I didn't do anything. On July 20th, 2023, law enforcement officers tried to apprehend a woman who was cycling on the incorrect side of the street. Oh no. They had better catch her, lock her up, and throw away the key. Well, let's see what happens. Your I'm here. I'm here. Get out! Hands behind your back! I got, I got Hands behind your back! Yes! Yeah, I'm sorry. I got scared. I got scared, sir. That's why. Then I did tell you that I was here. Did I not? Sir? I did say, when I realized it's not too good to. I did say I was here, sir. Face down. Pardon me? Face down. I got scared. Okay, do you understand that? Put your face on the ground. It's hot. I know, we'll get you up here in a second. You see that? Why did it? It's burning, please. Okay. I'm actually in a tinkle plane. Sit up. Sit up. Sir, I did say that I'm here. Stand up. I did say that I was here. I didn't Let's go take a walk. I didn't want to hide, okay? I was scared. Let's go. Sir, do you understand that? Did I do anything wrong? Yeah. What? What did I do wrong? I even told you okay. I was here. I'll tell you what you did wrong. Please. Can you look? Please, can you look at me with? I, I, I'm serious. I got scared. Okay. Please. I don't. No, no use of force. I... She was hiding under a car. No, I wasn't hiding. I let you know that I was here. I wasn't hiding. I did say I'm here. Did I not? You were hiding. Yes, I know. But then, but you then just I said you were, you were hiding. I know. I went underneath there. But then, did you not hear me say I'm here? Did I not say that? Hello. Did I not say Let's I was go. here, sir? Yeah. After I saw you and you heard me. No, I. I know I was hiding at first. Stop. I may. I realized. Okay, so I, here's the deal. Originally, I was stopping you because of bicycle violation, and then when I told you to stop. And you took off, so now you got resisting, and now you got loitering and prowling. So there's your charges. All you had to do was stop. Sir, All you had to do was pull over, sir, can I, stop can your I, bicycle. Can, um, sir, but can no, I, you sir, decided to take off sir, into a I, yard. Sir, can I look at you and, and please? I want, I want you to know that I'm really sorry. These things scare, and I don't know. That? I don't know how to listen. I don't want to say it's because of you. It's because I was hiding. I'm sorry. I'm okay. so nervous. So, I know it's not because of me because I lifted no, you up I, by your ankles no, and your knees were You are very about. respectful about it. I know. Alright. And, uh, sir, I want to explain to you. Please, will you look at me? Please, please. What's up? I want to say I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's I, fine. You're still going to jail, Sonia. I'm ADHD. 
I'm ADHD. I'm naturally hyper, and I grew up with my dad, and so he, okay. just, he just said, don't lie, don't steal, and don't do drugs, okay? And I don't do none of them usually, but I'm, I, I'm, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest. Huh? Sir, I'm going to be honest. This is, please, this is in front of my house. Please. Sir, you know, please. Told us the two five central. Please. Can yeah, I come over? Can I finish my sentence, please? Hey, whoever's running coke can stop. Yeah. I don't know how... I got scared. It's why I didn't stop, sir. Okay, I got scared because... Sir, I got... I got you, Sonia. I, I hear scared. you. And I told you why you're... That's why I was stopping you. But I got scared. I didn't stop. Because you said I told you why you're... That's why I was stopping you. But I got scared. I did. Because I, I got scared. Okay? I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't bother anybody. Please. Please. If I, I remember did. correctly, your house is like... No, it's right there. It's Where? right there. Please. This one? I yes, I'm trying to get my kids back. <laughs> Please. Please don't keep me in jail and stuff like that. I just wanted to rehab and stuff. <sighs> 481 Wales. Please. Can you please talk to the officer? I'm listening to you. I'm, I just got scared is why I ran. Okay, I usually respect you guys. I know I you really do. do. Well, unfortunately, that's why we're going to jail today. Because you, I told you to stop. I, will I gave you verbal commands I will to stop. Quit, I will quit drugs. It's not how I will quit drugs right now. I, I, Everything. I, I, that's not how it works, Sonia. Okay. I don't need to go in jail. Well, I don't we're going to go we're, in jail. Well, we're going to jail today. My hair. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not trying to run. Gotcha. Because if I wanted to, I probably could get yeah. out. But I'm not trying to be smart or anything. I'm cool. Smart. But just I'm not. A, but I'm not. This just a I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Is what I'm car. saying. So okay. face the car. Want to separate your feet for me? It's really hot on the ground. I don't know, separate I'm your feet. Man. Please just so understand you that I'm trying to be honest. Right. I just, just got scared. Quick, you're gonna put you in the car. It's so embarrassing. When you get a chance. Please. And then you get to charge me with something. Face the car. Are you ready to charge me with something? I already told you I'm going to charge you. Alright, back to my hand. I'm going right. to touch it, alright? I don't care. I, I, there you go, good. It's really all hot. Right. Sit so, down in the car. Can I ask you? Nope, yes, you yes, can sir. sit down in a minute. Sit down. Can you do me a favor? Please. Sit down, get sit your down feet off the car. Off the, yes. Turn around. Kick but your feet in. Kick your feet in. Closer, no, I want to ask him something. Right. In a second. Kick your feet in. Can I ask you one thing? You need to listen. Yes, sir. He's going to tighten your cuffs because they're way too loose for you. I, I was just being honest, okay? I got I'm you. just saying, I'm not trying to resist or anything. Well, you already just, resisted. I know, but then I told you I'm here. I didn't have to say that, okay? No, I found you before you said you're here. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, but I wanted to tell you because I don't want to play these game, games, okay? <sighs> I'm really not. I was so scared because everybody said, everybody said, <laughs> please can you, please can you, no, wait, um, how long is that in jail for? I'm not sure, I don't know right now. Is there any chance you could talk to him? And I will do whatever. No, you ran from us. I know, but that's because I didn't do anything wrong. And you all still stop me for what? And that's not even right. Please, I didn't do anything wrong. Now, you can't say any different. Can you please compromise? Please? Not right now. Well, you, for what did you pull me over? There's no reason. You Other made, than you guys made You made a violation on your bicycle. No, I didn't have no violation on a bicycle. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What was the violation? I'll tell you You later. have to think about it first. I'll tell you. Come on, please. Just like, please, can no, you no. talk to him? That's not, that was not even right, okay? I don't, I don't go out of my way to, to do anything against the law. I don't. I don't. I don't steal. I don't lie. And usually I don't do drugs, okay? So can you please be fair? Can you please talk to them? Please. Please. Sir, would you come? Uh -huh. We're at 41. How many officers is this going to take? Keep your feet in. What keep is the big deal here? What have I done? What have I done? Can you explain this to me? 
What am I doing? I, will, I, will I wanted to listen. I really did. But I can't explain. I really wanted to listen. But then my instinct told me I don't know any different. Please talk to him. That's the first thing I thought about is to stop and listen. That's, sir. That is the very, my very first thought was to listen and respect you guys how I always do. Yep. I really do. It's not the first time you ran from me, Sonia. I ran from you because of people always people just press me in, in my own house. I mean, just because I don't give sex. Okay? And just because the guy always sends me through and drops me up at this drug drug dealer's house and stuff. Okay? You, you can't force me to have sex, you know? What the fuck? Please talk to him. I will never, there will be never any trouble ever again. And I've never been in trouble by the law. Or, or in jail if it wasn't with somebody else. And me protecting them. I only protect people. And I don't talk about them either. I don't want to go to jail because I'm going to be more pissed off coming out of jail. I don't want to do anything stupid. I just want to live my life and get my kids. They live right here for two years. My mom and my boyfriend have been very difficult. Because if it wasn't for them, and if I would have been by myself, I would have been just fine and getting my, getting my kids back. But they did everything just to be with the old man as a jerk. I have a voice complex at all costs. Because <sighs> I'm naturally emotional. I have ADHD, so. So I need stimulants to calm me down. And I don't want to go to jail and come out and all pissed off and I'm already, you know. Please, I'm not crazy. Jail, <laughs> For what? Can you please get him to not arrest me? I'm scared that. Oh, we're past that right now. We're past but, that. But what did I do? I said we'll explain to you in a minute. Yeah, and, and then I'll never get out of there, huh? And I'm still sitting here. I'm not trying to... Please just talk to him. Can you just say to him, is, is there anything she could do and she promises that she, she'll never, she, you'll never hear from me again? I will not... I will respect no and, and I will leave and... I even left my own house. And I left him alone. I didn't come back over there. I didn't argue with him. Oh my god, and I have my boyfriend's room. And he's gonna say it. So he wouldn't take it back. He just drove away. He's been wanting to get me in trouble by the cops. And then he's gonna say, I stole it. That's where I was gonna go next, but I can't go in the neighborhood. I just wanna get him the old man his room back. He's such a jerk. Please, I'm gonna get in more trouble. I don't, I've never been in trouble by the law. And I can't be from Germany. Yeah, I'm being a little bit trouble child, but. But that's why I came down here to better myself. And, um, and I did, and I become, I went from an F, B and F student all my life to an honor roll student. And then I quit school. And ever since, I've been every day bettering myself. And I've never hurt anybody except one time when she stole from me, but I don't do that much. I try to forgive everybody steals from me. That's why I'm wearing someone else's boxers. And hey, hey can you forgive me? Please, I totally acted out of instinct, but I didn't do anything. You guys couldn't even pull me over. Please, please talk to him. One officer to another, can you do that? Please. Talk to him? <laughs> yes, about if there's anything she can do. <sighs> please, I hope I got myself killed in jail. <sighs> because somebody tried to hit me or something and I grabbed their hands. And, and that's apparently not a lot. So I have to let somebody hit me first. That's not gonna happen. And I don't wanna fight in there because I'm not that good of a fighter, but 
Apparently, that's what I've been doing for the last two years. I think they can treat me however they want to, but that's not happening. And, and so I am going to go to jail. The last thing I do is want to fight, but I don't want to be provoked either, you know? I have kids. I'm just staying alive for them. She saved my life. I just know it's probably not good for me to go to jail. Please. I don't bother anybody. Please get a to can you talk to him? I'm not trying to him, please. Please, can you talk to him? I didn't do anything wrong. Alright, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Listen to me. Put those on. I didn't do nothing wrong. Can okay, you please talk on. to them? That's not okay. Put those on and step out. I already told people. you what you did. Officer, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, please. I already told you. I'm please. not going to have this. We're not having a roadside court. You go put the sandals on and Officer Vines here is going to search you. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I didn't want to. And you're going to have your chance in court. I wanted to listen Sonia, step and out. I wanted you to listen. No, I didn't. Want to listen, no, I didn't. Stop. Sonia. I'm first. Hey, step out. I didn't want it to listen and that was my first no, reaction. Is no, I, wanted, I wanted to stop, but then my instinct told me I just ran. I don't get know. Out. Sonia, get out of the car and quit crying. Come on. Put your put slides on. on. <laughs> put your slides on. I'm sorry. Sonia, put your slides on. Okay, girlfriend, put your slides on. I didn't do anything. Okay. I to go. Well, clearly you did something. You're caught up in a handcuff, so turn That's around. because I was hiding. Yeah, yeah. you're hiding. Underneath the oh. car. I didn't say I'm here. There's the answer. I didn't say I'm, I didn't say I'm here. Excuse right. me. Look Spread at the car. We're not doing this. You know how to be searched, girl. Spread you your feet. Look at the car. Look at the car. Look at the car. I did it. I did it. I did it. But I'm. Sonia, look at the car. I'm, I don't want to look at the car. Oh, you are sweaty uh, and <laughs> Because I'm hyperventilating. Okay, you're good. Bye. Go to the car. I don't have anything else to say. What is up with all the officers? Yeah. This is my neighborhood. Oh, this is my neighborhood. Get in the car. This is my Can you please stop? Can you? Get your feet in. Just I didn't even do anything, though. No. Kick I mean, your feet in. But why am I being... Why? For what? He explained it to you. Kick your feet in. No, for what? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Sonia. <laughs> You're gonna catch on the charge. Kick your feet in. But what did I do? Kick your feet in. Let's go. What did I do though? I didn't do anything, sir. I was on a bicycle. Sir, please, can you please tell me for what the hell? I was on a bicycle. I didn't do anything on a bicycle. Explain to me then. Sonia, I advise you stop talking. Ma'am, at least explain to me what I did on a bicycle. Well, thank you. I didn't do nothing. So I'm being arrested for nothing. I'm doing nothing. This is not even fair, guys. Please. Central Coffee and Transport. Why am I going to get more charges for what? I'm not doing anything. Why did you pull me over? Because you were riding your bicycle on the wrong side of the road. But whatever. No, I was not riding the bicycle on the wrong side of the road. I was on the sidewalk, sir. No. No, you weren't. I followed you and we were behind you the whole time okay. when you turned on to Wales. Okay. I was just scared, okay? Okay. You don't need a bad time. It's like for every moment. You can't even... Walk a bicycle or something. You can walk a bicycle. Well, I don't know how to walk a bicycle. You, you weren't walking your bicycle, you were riding it. Okay. But once again, I'm not having roadside court with you today. What? You going to jail? Yeah. But when you break the law, yes, that's what happens most of the time. Okay, but I don't break the law usually. I did, I was not Karen faced charges of loitering, possession of methamphetamines and related items, and resisting a law enforcement officer without using physical force. Her bail was set at $4,000. On the fateful night of August 13th, 2021, a woman spun a yarn about wrapping up a marathon shift at Memorial Medical Center. Was it a 26-hour shift? Or did she shave off two hours in her tail, settling for 24? You'll see what I mean as you watch. Nevertheless, the plot twist was as unexpected as finding a pineapple on a pizza. 
this woman hadn't been nursing anyone back to health. Rather, she had been on an epic night of bar hopping in El Paso, New Mexico. But the night didn't end with last calls and lost memories. Instead, guided by her trusty GPS and perhaps a bit too much faith in technology, the woman embarked on an adventurous quest to her Tinder date's house. This modern-day odyssey took her not through treacherous seas, but over the suburban savannas of multiple backyards until her chariot was unceremoniously wedged between two unsuspecting homes. And thus begins our tale of love, libations, and landscaping gone awry. Cool. Is it your house? I'm the one that called. Is it your house? No. Oh. I'm in an HOA, homeowners association, and it woke me up because I heard her driving behind our unit. Can you just talk to my partner real quick and let him know, and then I'm going to talk to him. Hey, you okay? <laughs> you want to have a seat? This is where my GPS You want to have a seat? Yes. You want to have a seat? This is where I GPS my boyfriend. What's going on? <laughs> This is where she is my boyfriend's house, and okay. this is where it's time. I don't know if this is a back road, or if it was a back road or something, but I got stuck, and I asked this lady for help, okay. and I just got off of a 24-hour oh. shift off of a memorial medical center. Where, where are you coming from right now? And my house off of me. You okay? Need medical attention or anything? <laughs> okay. Do you need medical attention or anything? <laughs> and my boyfriend lives like three blocks over, but this is where my GPS is. Okay, me. where are you coming from right now? <laughs> off of the hospital. I just got off of my 26 hour shift. Where, uh, what hospital do you work at? At Memorial Medical Center. Okay, what do you do over there? Is assistant. Okay. And you just got off right now? Yes, and it's just right there, so I thought it'd be easier for me to come to his house because it's closer. What the? Uh... And I asked her for help, and she hey, said. Hey, do you need medical attention? No, sir. Okay. Is, just, just is this your vehicle? Yes. Uh, is your driver's license and all that stuff inside the car? I have her. In the car? Told, she told me that she thinks that I'm drunk and I'm not drunk. I'm just as tired and I'm ready for bed, sir. Okay. Like, I've worked for 25 hours, almost 26 hours. What time did you get off work? I got off of work like 30 minutes ago. What time was that? No, without looking at the clock. Maybe like 2.30, almost 2.45. That was more than 30. That was less, way less than 30 minutes ago. I'm, you have I'm, a phone number for your supervisor? I'm new to this. I can text you. His supervisor, my supervisor's number, because we connect through an app called Tiger Connect. You don't have a phone number or anything? No. How do you spell your first name? It's The telephone box and the cable wires. And she might have been the landscape. You have to see. I don't know how she. I already. I, I don't know how she did that either. That. Did she drive in the back? Did she really? Well, well how? Did, yeah, there's no tire marks going back there. Yeah, but how did she knock that forward? Maybe trying to come back. So yeah, the only damage, the wall's not damaged, the landscaping's not damaged. It's my car that's damaged. Yeah, so you guys are good. Well, no, we want this thing. Yeah, I'm going to contact. Don't worry. I'm going to do my job. I'm going to contact who I... Yes, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to contact who I have to contact. It's nothing damaged as far as the home, whatever homeowner association is. So... Yeah, I don't know how the hell she did not touch anything. Luckily, she didn't get that. No, I can stay too because they come in. I want to know what they're doing. Drive back there. 
Yes, ma'am. Can you let us do our job? Yeah. You, you're good to go. If you didn't see no, it, you're... Wait. okay, then you can do it from across the street. I'm part of the home. Okay, yes, ma'am. I understand that, but I'm telling you, nothing's damaged. We don't know about any of that. All right, I'm gonna check. Dude, hell the hell. I just started to freak out because she started to freak out telling me that she was going to call the ambulance. I had already called my insurance. Do you need the ambulance? We can get somebody out here to get you checked out. I'm just scratched up right here. I called my boyfriend when it happened. I told him I needed him to pull me out. I called my insurance. My insurance said that they would contact you once the police report got. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll do all that stuff. Yes, correct. So once the police report got submitted, they told me that they would go from there. That's what my insurance told me. Yeah. So the way I it works. Got put on to the phone with a lady. She told me to lock the doors. This lady was taking pictures of the car. She was taking pictures of everything. Saying that I was drunk, which I'm not drunk. Why you would been I be tonight? drunk? No, sir. Why would I be drunk off of a 26 hour shift? Like, I don't understand that. I don't know. We all work long hours. How long have you been working at MMC? Um, I've been working there for four months. You've been working there for four months? Yes. She was freaking me out. I asked her for help. She told me, you know what? You're drunk. I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to call this. I'm going to report this. I'm going to report that. And I started crying. And I told her, I said, look, I just need you to understand that I just got off of a 26, almost 26-hour shift. I just want to go home. I just want to lay down. This is where my GPS sent me. I don't know if this is a back road. Uh, that's that's not a road at all. Anything I told that's her, not I a road said, at all. I don't, I don't know. I said this. Hey, is so check it out. I'm gonna read you something, okay? Okay. I told her, I said this is exactly where my GPS sent me. It yeah. told me that I'm at the exact address. I called my insurance once it happened. My insurance said that once the police report came through, that they would assess the police report and that everything would be assessed the correct way. <laughs> They, then they transferred me back to right, the lake. So, check it out. These are your Miranda rights, okay? You're not under arrest or anything like that right now, but okay. I have some questions for you. Can you say can and will be used against you in a court of law? You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer my questions or make... Dude. So she went all the way from that next street over through the backyard and was trying to exit through right here. Uh, there's no damage, to be honest, just to the those those wires right there. Really, that's a Yeah. Great. All this? Uh, no, I think that's dirt. I mean, I think maybe right here. There's a rock missing, obviously. I don't know. Probably underneath. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. That's crazy. Yeah. So, do you understand these rights if I explain them to you? Yes, my boyfriend's right there. Okay. So, having these rights in mind, do you still wish to talk? Yes. Sir. Or answer any questions? All right. Yes, sir. So, of course. The story, it's... It's kind of not adding up. I just have some questions as far as getting a timeline together, okay. right? So, right. what time do you say you got off work? Um, what time is it right now? I got off work at like 2.30, 2.35. Okay. okay. So, what time did you go to work? I got at work since, I've been at work since yesterday morning at 8 o'clock. Since yesterday at 8 o'clock? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So that's not a 24 hour shift. Okay, so see so you go in at eight o'clock in the morning. And what what day was that? At the next day at eight o'clock. Okay. Well, I, it's not even close to eight o'clock. It's. I got in there at eight o'clock in the morning. On what day? Yesterday. What day was that? What's today? Wednesday, Tuesday. Okay, so it's not even close to Tuesday. We're, do you, we're on Tuesday, right? We're definitely not on Tuesday. Yes, we are. Because today is Friday. Correct. So if you went in on Tuesday morning at 8 a.m., work 24 hours. I have been and working, today's Friday. I work seven days a week, so I work three jobs. I understand you work a lot. I work Memorial. When you I tell me you work 24 hours, you work 24 hours straight. I work seven days You say days you go in at Tuesday at 8 a.m. I worked Tuesday from 8 o'clock to 8 a.m. I worked What's that? Wednesday from 8 o'clock. How did she get out? I have this. Of her car? Yeah. I don't know. No idea. So. She's telling quite a tale. Yeah. So she went from, not this street, but the next one, I guess. And went, like you said, all the way through the backyard. I know. So, yeah. This is from, there's like a wire box. I'm thinking that's where this is from. I went to Gasol. That one's obviously from there. And I uh, It's crazy because, you know, like it gets narrow with the bushes. And, you know, it didn't really... Did like, you take out any of the lands? I, I have to know because yeah, no, uh, no. I mean, the only, the only, the landscape. The only way I was able to track it was because the tire, like the grass, was pushed like over. Damaged. Oh, it's not even damaged. It's just like you can see like fresh prints. Okay. So yeah, it's crazy. We'll get you a case number for sure. Um, I'll be honest. What did she tell you? Oh, no. big old. Big old story. I've been working for 24 hours at Memorial, and I'm the bad guy uh -huh. because. Did you call? I, well, she claimed she called. I, I said I don't trust you. Uh -huh. I went to my home, got my phone. All of a sudden, then she thought she better call. Oh, uh, okay. So I called. She was calling you at the same time I called. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't. See, I thought someone else was breaking in behind us. Uh -huh. So I got out. I turned on my back porch light. Over here. I gassed up, and then I came over here. And then once I hit my GPS, I hit my GPS and it hit me right over here. Okay. And once I hit over here, it told me you you have arrived at your destination. Okay. Which I knew it wasn't my destination. But that doesn't, that doesn't answer the question that I just asked you. Answer the question that I just asked you. Which is what time did I go home and change? So I got off. Mm -hmm. I went home and changed. Okay, so now you went home and changed. Then went and to the gas then station. I went and gassed up. Yes, okay. because I followed the exact same road. <sighs> the Pickwick off University. Once mm -hmm. I hit the Pickwick off University, I gassed up. You can see my Wells Fargo. I can show you everything. Mm -hmm. It'll show you that I gassed up over there. Yeah. And then once I hit there, I hit my GPS because I have no idea where he lives. Okay. I met him off of Tinder. It's new. It's fresh. Okay. How long you guys been dating? I barely know him. We've been dating for two months. Okay. So my question is. I hit my GPS. My question is why? Confirm. Why do you smell? Why is there such a strong odor of alcohol coming from you? If you say you didn't drink. From me. Your time. Yeah. Your timeline is completely off to be at work, home change, go get gas, all the way back on this side of town when you're going off of Solano, back in here in less than 30 minutes. In less than 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. That is not. That's not because, That's not correct? No, because I have it right here, sir. Mm -hmm. So, can you explain to me, at what point, what did you do when you get home? I got home, I have two dogs. Okay. So I fed my dogs. I changed into these clothes. I got into my vehicle. Mm -hmm. I was drinking in these clothes last night because last night was my only day off. Okay. Yes, last night I got drunker than Cooter Brown. What 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 day was last night? Last night was Thursday. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I got drunker than Okay, Cooter so you weren't Brown working twenty four hours. Last if you were working last night. At <sighs> What time did I get home last night? Um, let me see, because I texted my friend last night. Okay. So. Message failed. Would you be willing to submit to a field sobriety test? Just to I make would. Sure. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Of course. Let's go ahead and hop up real quick, and we'll get that taken care of, okay? All right. Let's walk. I'm not going to lie to you. This looks pretty level right over here. Okay. Of course. Yeah.
We'll walk up on the side of the Up here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's turn away from the lights. You can face me. Face you? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to check, I'm just going to check your eyes, okay? Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you focus on this stimulus right here to the tip of my pin. I'm going to move it side to side, but while doing so, you're going to move and follow it with your eyes, keeping your head still. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So I got up uh-huh. quick and so I got out. I turned on my back porch light to see it's happening because that's how loud it was. When she hit these or when she was going through? I don't know. Hand? All I know is my bed is, is back there uh-huh. in my bed. So I heard yeah. like, crunch, 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 like, wild crunch. Yeah. I thought, wow, that sounds like it's really someone's driving behind us. Yeah. So that's why I got up and found her stuck here. It was a GPS for her. Uh-huh. It's what. It's wild how narrow it gets back there, yes. and, you know, like, and big old rocks, you know, like. Well, she, I just think she's incapacitated. I could smell alcohol. You could smell alcohol? Yeah. I, I haven't got that close, so. I said, honey, <laughs> this is obviously not a road. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, to be honest, like, it's not what I thought. I thought it was a bird. I thought that someone was trying to yeah. break in and take stuff. And I thought, like, oh, wow. Okay, we'll see. I just thought <laughs> she had to have something, something wrong with her to make this huge a mistake. Yeah. That's just my layman's opinion. Wow. Well, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize something's wrong here. All right, keep your head pointing forward, okay? Continue to look at the pin, okay? You can blink your eyes. I have contacts on if you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ready? go ahead. Oh. One more. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go up, okay? Okay. Remember, keep your head pointed still or straight and follow it with your eyes only. Okay. So this next one you can sit right there. So this next one's gonna be the walk and turn test, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna demonstrate first and then I'll explain. I'll I'll explain and then okay. I'll demonstrate, okay? Go for it. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you imagine a straight line in front of you. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place your left foot on that line, okay. place your right foot in front, touching okay. heel to toe with your arms down by your sit. Uh-huh. And good thing that she didn't hit her house their house. Yeah. Which, which ironically the, the association is still responsible for the exterior of the building. Really? Oh, okay. So well from, from the stucco out is, is the association. Oh, well, that's cool. And then from, the stucco, anything, from inside the stucco, it's hiding. That's pretty cool because if like, you get damaged from hell, they, they're yeah. Yeah. the ones that will fix it. Yes. And, and so I take it they also do the contact do contract the of people for the landscaping? Yep. That's nice. No wonder you guys have nice grass. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys contact utilities? Yeah, yeah, we'll contact the utility company okay, and let them know about that. So. I'm dumb. Is that cable or is that like? Uh, I want to say. I want to say it's probably phone. Phone. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's probably the phone line. Yeah, and then I doubt if she did any damage to the water. To the. Water head that's probably in that. I mean, see that green. Right. Well, there's something sticking out right there like pushed into the grill so but once we get the vehicle out of there yeah then, then we'll and be able to see it. yeah okay. <laughs> make the right we'll have, let central know and they'll make the contacts with the electric company and uh, so yeah. she was an amazing amount of noise for about 
three or four minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, it's a little, yeah. I made an even harder drive back there because I think I would have seen her headlights to my windows. Yeah. But I heard something. So. <laughs> Oh boy. So, what's under the concrete? Is that the water going to Well, I don't know what's it's electrical water. or water. I was thinking maybe. Because water usually has a little plate, but that's, but that's all new. Yeah, I'm almost all new. Can we get a 46 started search one? Thank you, ma'am. Send me everything. You took a picture and I'll do it. Huh? Why? This is my dish. Can you uh, I do out? the potion? Yeah. When I stepped out. So she didn't just come from a 24 hour shift, right? No, she said that she's not going to lie. She got. She's like a weird word. Monkey drunk? I don't know. She said it was some weird word. Drunk last night. Yes, last night I got drunker than Cooter Brown. What? I was like, y'all can fill the screw on my knee. Oh, you're fine. You can, you can actually stop. I was like, y'all can fill the screw on this knee. Right, so I don't have very good balance in this knee whatsoever. Okay. So this last test is we're just going to have you stand on one foot. That's it. Okay. For approximately 30 seconds. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to have you do is touch with your feet together and your arms down by your side. I tell you to begin the test. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, when I tell you to begin, you're going to lift a leg of your choice, either leg, raise it approximately six inches above the ground. While doing so, you're going to look down at your elevated foot. You're going to keep your arms down by your side. And you're going to count out the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. okay? While doing so, you're not going to put your foot down until you complete the test. Yes, Okay? Hold yes, on. Hold on. I'll take Okay. Go ahead and begin when we're ready. Do me a favor, go and face your vehicle real quick. Just place your hands behind your back. Right now you're going to be under arrest for driving while under the influence of drug or alcohol. Do you understand? Alright, let's walk this way, okay? Okay. 936 Central, female 15. Right there. My unit? Oh, my car's right there. Yeah, that's right. It's right here. Oh, uh -huh, so mine's right there. You should just have something in her back pocket. Yeah. I have my phone in my back pocket, sir. So I have my ring and my chopstick. This one. Um, Ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead and have a seat for me. Figure out how it happened? Yeah, so that next street over, uh -huh. she went all the way through. What? Yeah. You oh, can what did she say? She was drunk as a what? Nah, she didn't say she was drunk. She was tired because she worked. Oh. oh, I don't know. I didn't. I heard her say something, but I didn't understand it. She even made that turn. Dude, I'm telling you. Alright. 
I'm gonna be busy for the next four hours. Let's do it. Guess who's going home four times now? Uh huh. Nine three six hundred. Ten nineteen mm -hmm. west with a female fifteen starting all zeros. Is my car gonna be Yes, it's gonna be towed. Okay, thank you. Um, the booking, or I'm sorry, the uh, tow paperwork. Uh -huh. You'll get a copy of it so you know where to pick it up. Will I be able to get a phone call? Yeah. So when you get to the detention center, uh -huh. they'll give you a phone call. Okay. Do you approximately know how much my bail will be? So you'll have to see a judge in the morning. Okay. And it'll be a couple hours. Okay. Will I be able to use the restroom when I get there? Yes. I won't be in with anybody else, will I? No, you'll more likely be by yourself. No, you can sit up. Only 22. All right. What? What will happen if I don't want nobody to get called? You don't have to call anybody. I don't have to. No. Okay. That's your choice. I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm really tired. I know. I know those long shifts suck. I'm not gonna lie. This is the first time I've ever been back in a cop car. Well, hopefully it's the last time. Yeah. Well, I promise you it'll be the last time you ever see me. No, I only got a week in the past month. Uh huh. I came back. My friend told me to go to the ski lake to the ski lake to the ski And then from the ski lake to the garage, and then from the garage, I dropped him off and went to the house and they changed. Mm -hmm. And then I GPSed it because I, even after a year, I still don't know my way around. It's a lot of bars. The only place I've ever, like the only, I have to say the only houses I've ever been to was radio. And that's just because my friend on the list lives there. Uh -huh. And she has a two-year-old. Almost $1,900 a down payment. Holy cow. Those down payments are ridiculous. Because I have my dog, which is $45 uh, pet rent. Uh-huh. And then it's $875 regular rent. And then I have my internet and my electricity. Wow. That's a lot. Yes, so um, that female officer that was on scene, she's headed over here right now. So when she gets here, uh, you can use the restroom, okay? Okay, I'll have to do a strip search and then we'll try. No. No? No. Nah. Nope, okay, not here. So we'll be here for a little while just to do all the paperwork. Okay. And then I'll take you to, you gotta go to the hospital. Okay. Um, but we can go to Mountain View. Okay. That's easier. Not a problem. Okay. I said, when we get inside, I'll just do the one handcuff, okay? No, you're good. I'm not gonna like run or anything. Don't worry. <laughs> As I work at the hospital, don't worry, I'm this. not gonna run. Uh, I guess a couple years ago we had some deal go down where now we, in policy, we have to have the oh, handcuff, no, but. No, I totally understand. No, you're good. I work with you guys all the time at Memorial, so it's not a problem. We had border patrol there for like four days. Oh, I gotta pee. <laughs> also, I can hold it, but you're good. Maybe right. that second door on the left over there. This one, I'm sorry. Fred. Way left. Way left. Just go to the left if you want. This one right here. Okay. Can I go to the restroom? Yeah, like I said, she's on her way right now. Okay. So when she gets here, I'll, uh, I'll let you go. Okay. okay.
Go and have a seat, boy. Okay. That one's off the chair. Yeah, like I said, when she gets here. She, it sounds like she's on her way already. So. Okay, thank you. Shouldn't be long. Yeah. Yeah, I know him too. I dated him for a couple months. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. We met at the gym. Oh. Yeah, we both worked out with the. Um, oh, what's his name? What gym is that? Yeah, they own it now. But the previous owner. Oh. Yeah. We used to work out with. Or he used to train me, actually. I used to train to be a bodybuilder. Uh huh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then COVID hit and, you know, all that shit. I think COVID kind of ruined everything. Well, now we have 17 patients in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And what we, once we hit 20, we'll actually stop visitors. Really? So nobody can actually go, like, no visitors can go in and see nobody whatsoever. And everybody that is not vaccinated has to wear a cane and mic. Jeez. All of our COVID patients are on the ICU floor, as far as I'm concerned, as of today. And then we'll get like we'll be transferred up to the medical center going to where I work. And you said I didn't have to contact anyone, right? Mm. Oh, perfect. Not if you want to. Not Probably. It's only Friday, so the dread should be there in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I know, because I work from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow. I was like, if not, I'm going to go to my boss and let her know, or hey, please go to the bathroom. She's almost here. Okay. I, I know you got to go. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. It's not your fault. So if I have a clean record, you can look at my record, it's clean. Okay. Other than seatbelts. <laughs> yeah, it case. happens, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can do, okay? Okay, no problem. So, sorry. obviously... Like I said, I'm sorry this happened. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. I called my boyfriend right away. He came to the hospital and he got off of work from the cardiac facility. He told his boss... The good news is nobody was hurt. And unfortunately, some of these things could end up a lot worse, but Correct. nobody was hurt. And, you know, see each other in the morning, get it taken care of, um, depending on you if you want to get a lawyer or not. And so this is only what you're being booked on tonight. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, you're still going to have your day in court before it's even shown up on your record or anything like Correct. that. Correct. No, I totally understand. You guys are doing what you have to do, you know? That's why I don't refuse. I don't ever argue. I want nothing. You know what I mean? My grandfather was Raul Atenchi, who was the head of police department for the state of police in Denver for years. And my auntie is still the head of the state police department over there in Denver. You know, I know how it goes, you know. In Denver, I'm well known, you know, around a couple parts, to be honest with you. My family is very, very into the, uh, how would I say it? Um, the regular police department, because mm -hmm. my auntie Sonia um, actually runs the, uh, what do you call it, whatever, domestic violence, uh -huh. like she gets called and stuff out in Denver and all that, she gets, has to do house calls and all of that stuff. And my great grandfather, he was the one who was the head of the department of the detention center out there and the state police. And let me tell you, he was not a very happy man. He was very rude. <laughs> I remember everything backwards. My oh, cell really? phone number, my date of birth, my social, the day I graduated. I used to have my license plate number to tell them to Chris's. <laughs> Once I moved to Chris's, it became a red license plate. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you have a belt on? Do what? Do you have a belt on? No? No. What about uh, any jewelry? Necklaces, earrings? No. No. I never had earrings on. Okay.
Any bracelets or anything like that? No, no bracelets, no rings, no ankle bracelets, nothing. Okay. Did you have any other hold-up insurance company? Did they call you yet? No, they won't call us. Not right now. right down the road. through that curtain. you uh, choose that leg to balance on if that's not your good leg? Oh no, she's going to backtrack. I don't know how it stayed on there. Because that's her stuff over there. Uh, on this side of the bench. Um, by the yeah. box. This says was a stop recorded on video. It wasn't a traffic stop. Uh-huh. But technically it was a stop. So what I put? No. I put no because it's not. It's not a stop. Hey, are you busy? We need you to run. Um, That's a 28, 29. A 28, 29. Do you have the license plate? Or is it logged down? Were photos taken on scene? No. They weren't taken? Not that I know. 
You told me to go look for the phone and you're asking me to do all this stuff while I'm looking for the phone. Well, like, no, oh, but I mean, no. I thought 816 might have helped me out a little bit. Yeah. Did you see how far she went? She went behind like five houses. Are you ready? Where are you at? Did you take photos of the scene? Are you gonna IHOP? I know it. I'm never gonna go out of my district again. I know, now it's just a big old f mess. It's just information, and I needed the, the car too, but non use has a 28, so I'll, I guess I'll just sleep. Can you give me information on the car? Yeah, do, what, do you know your plate? Oh, I have my license plate? Okay? Yeah. No, I don't have to give me an insurance card off my cell phone. He said you got the crash? Yeah. Okay. Did he give you the vehicle for him? No. He didn't give me anything. Okay, I'll just, I'll figure it out later. Hold well, on, I'm gonna call him right now. Okay, thanks. That's the only reason I called him. Yeah. If y'all give me access to my phone... Hey, sorry, I forgot the only reason I called you was to... Do you have the license plate and vehicle information? Can you text that to either me or a free? All right, appreciate it. Thanks. Right there. Okay, I told him that I would take the crashers to help you guys. And you should know I'll take it. But Do you want to take this? Huh? You want to take this part? Well, I, just, I just got to switch all your names around. I know. I don't need your help. Thank you, though. I'm trying to talk to him, and you're still in the background. So I need to read her back. You know how to work the machine? You know I don't have my card. Good lord, you and Tanya's fault, man. You know what? Okay, I, what man. you need to realize is that we're district partners, uh -huh. so if you're going to help, you need to help without complaining about it, okay? If, and I don't, if I'm going to help? Yeah, and I don't owe you sh** for you having to go into another district and I didn't say you owe me sh**. Hey, but you told Nanya that, so... No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You were like, oh, I guess I get four days off now. Oh, yeah. I did say that. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I just said four days off. Like, I said leaving well, early. Yeah, I was trying to help out another district in that sh but I broke off and went. That's right. I thought that was a deal that we all had. What? We leave four days early. All right. Leave early four days. Well, I guess not. I never leave early. You should. Uh, it's only under. You're so good. You big jerk. It's not what I implied. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. And never have I ever. And everybody's like, I'll text me, like, is he pissed off? Why is he calling? Why is he asking for another female? I was like, I don't know. No, I, I legit thought, because she's always late. I don't even know if she's working, but I'm pretty sure she was. I thought A2A would be here with her OT. But I was wrong at the end. I, like, I told him I'm on my way. No, I know. You make me all panic if you feel like I'm talking to my mom when she's asking me to do like a thousand things. <laughs> it's because I got her in my ear. She's like, I gotta go back. I'm like, I know. I'm trying. Alright, this. I'll read that if you start the machine. That I can do. I just don't, I've never had my card. I know, it's broken, so you just gotta keep jiggling it. And then, uh, that other door's broken, I guess. Got it! Okay. We don't have a nice thing to report. I don't know if it works. It never works. I understand English and Spanish, so I want to turn on both. That's totally okay. So listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You are under arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. 
If you choose to take this ad additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency to take our test. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. That's a mouthful, huh? I was like, you could write it to me in Spanish or whatever. I'm bilingual. Right. <laughs> that would have been horrible if I read it in Spanish. Yeah, I figure if I take the trash, nobody can say anything. So I literally broke off a call, went over there, and taken over something. That's not what I meant by four days off. It's not what I intend, was intending on, or applying our deal that we had for the last month. Manish just can't do that. He'll be in the hole. Oh, I know. <laughs> or four days. Because on the way over there, we were reading that she was an MMC nurse. So I was like, kind of a boy. I thought she came off of that wall straight like, into that thing. I was like, I, I was like she's okay. She can go straight to the house. I just thought she did a hard reverse. That's what I thought too, but that electrical thing. Was, it was like the opposite way. You know what? Oh. Oh. What? What? Yeah, I didn't have the plate. Oh, okay. And I thought you logged it down, but it's not in the notes. Uh, A16 logged it down. I think they never do that. Uh, you won't know that till you see a judge later on. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do it in the morning or the afternoon. Both. <laughs> If you test it too early. Did Nanya ever send you the plate? Set up. Set up. Set up. 
in that piece. Let me see it. B76 to Mountain View, uh, starting same as ending. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, uh, can I throw these other ones away? Yes. Let the rest of the This is the one that she gave me. Yeah, that's all. Alright. Alright, this one. Uh, I'll tell you this one. It was pretty high. It was pretty high. Thank you. highest that I've ever had was 0.22. That wasn't that. No. Alright. You okay? Yeah, I keep seeing my hand. Okay. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. Excuse me, I think your mom's at work. You've got to be sentenced. Can you get a what? If I have to go to the detention center, I don't want her to know that I'm there. Okay. We'll see if, uh... We can we can sneak in. Uh-huh. What's her name? Oh. How does everybody know that girl? How does everybody know that girl? she gets drunk with us all the Yeah. Swear she knows everybody. Oh no, she gets drunk with everybody. Really? Well, then she's probably not working. Doesn't she work during the day? Yes. So she's probably barely going in there. Yeah, but she won't go in through the back, right? I have no idea. I just don't want her to know what we're talking about. Alright. Okay. Well, I won't tell her, and we'll try to sneak you in. Okay. Yeah, that's understandable. I wouldn't want my business out there either. My emails later on, and you're in trouble again. Thank you. Hey, do you know what time the judge comes? Five p.m. Oh, five a.m. Seriously? Well, I guess if court's at eight. Huh? Yeah, at least it's 
So now, cool. so now she's going to be here till like 5 or till 2? I think she's going to help. Yeah, in the afternoon. Yeah. Later. In a turn of events that even yours truly didn't see coming, the only Karen in this situation was the annoying HOA Karen who wanted to feel important. To punish the woman who got her car stuck between the two houses, they should have made her sit in her car with the windows down and listen to HOA Karen talk about her boring HOA nonsense. I'm just kidding. She would have to be more drunk than Cooner Brown himself to survive such cruel and unusual punishment.